Here guys is one of one out of the 23 of the world's living crocodilian species. It is one out of the two that we have in the country. This one is the freshwater murrelet crocodile and the second species second species that we have in the country is the saltwater American crab. Um, these guys can get to somewhere between 3 to 4 meters in length, somewhere between 10 and 12 feet. And, um, it can be found in the fresh waters of the Atlantic regions of Mexico, Belize and Guatemala. And also it is also known as the Mexican crocodile. The reason for that is because this species of crocodile was first discovered in Mexico and um, it was actually named after the French naturalist who made the discovery. It happened in the year 1850. The name of the naturalist was Pierre Marie Arthur Morlet, hence the name Morlet Crocodile. Um, when we're speaking about crocodiles, we're talking about an apex predator, which means that these guys are on the top of the food chain. Um, if you notice carefully here, put a flash there. You see the two holes here? These are the nostrils. And these guys can actually smell very well outside of the water. Similar to a dog, they can locate a carcass there, anywhere in their territory. And um, whenever they go underwater, these nostrils here would see because they have muscles inside so that water do not go through. Crocodiles can actually hold their breath for up to two hours in under the water. And the reason that they can do that is because they have a four-chambered heart. And they can actually lower their metabolism, their heart rate, to somewhere between one to three heartbeats per minute. For us, that would be like dead. Um, uh, these are the eyes. Crocodiles have three sets of eyelids. One that would go bottom to top, one that would go top to bottom, and one that goes across, which is known as a nictating membrane. And they would activate those when they go underwater. It is underwater that crocodiles have poor visibility. They can see, but not as well as when they're outside of the water. Outside of the water, these guys can see in 3D and in color, same as us. Um, the brain would be located somewhere around here and in a fully mature crocodile the brain is like, like the size of an almond and even though the brain is very small these guys are extremely extremely intelligent creatures um, they have a cerebral cortex and it is because of this cerebral cortex that they have that crocodiles have the ability to learn rather than to react instinctively as compared to other species of animals. Um, that is the reason that crocodiles are among some of the most efficient and successful predators alive today. Um, they are actually the only reptiles in the world that can actually plan, plot and remember. So it's like, let's say you guys live near a lagoon, near a river, and you would take your dog, let's say, just take your dog for a walk every day to the same location. At some point in time, the crocodile is going to be ready to attack you or your dog. Alright, um, if you look carefully, you can see some of the teeth. Crocodiles have, a fully mature crocodile would have normally between 66 to 68 teeth. And um, they are polyphyodonts, which means that these guys have many or several sets of teeth in succession. So they can lose a tooth 5, 10, 15, 20 times in its lifetime and they have the ability to replace that tooth. Um, <clears throat> when we talk about bite force now, crocodiles have the strongest bite force than any other animal in the world. For this species, it's somewhere at least a little over 3,000 pounds per square inch. It's like taking a 10-wheeler truck 30 feet in the air and having it fall on your feet. That's how powerful the jaw pressure of the crocodile is. Um, all of this here, all the way to the tail, these are known as scoots, and these serve as a solar panel because crocodiles are actually cold-blooded reptiles, right? They need the sunlight to, to observe, to observe heat so that they can digest their food and to thermoregulate their body temperature. The scoots also serve as a rudder for these guys, for the, whenever the water flows onto the tail, as a rudder for swimming and so forth. Um, <coughs> to turn the crocodile over now. We have, you can see each scale, they have like a tiny dot on it, right? Those serve as an extra sense for this crocodile. They are known as ISOs, which stands for integumentary sense organs. This is like, for example, if the crocodile is inside, inside the water, and let's say, for example, a fish or a turtle just fly passes through near the crocodile, he, but these would activate and he would actually sense and know the size of the prey and where the prey is located. 
That is what these sensory organs assist the crocodile for. Um, crocodiles are also mostly related to birds because same as birds, these guys have a two-chambered stomach. One with a gizzard and one which has some of the strongest acids in the world which can assist these guys to uh, digest bones, hooves, antlers. And there's one thing that these guys cannot digest. If they would ever swallow something with plastic, these guys, it's going to clog up inside their stomach and they're going to die for sure. Um, females would lay up to three dozen eggs. And um, out of a hundred eggs that are laid, barely one makes it to maturity. That is because of the rich ecosystem that we have. So we have some birds, snakes, other crocodiles that would feed on these guys as well. Uh, if you would like to know if this guy is a female or a male, well then we would have to insert the finger in this area here, which is known as a cloaca. But we normally don't go through that. <laughs> you guys have any questions?